the number one thing that people need to realize is the website is an artifact of uh, search being the primary way that we interact with the web. So you not only did we start off with websites and therefore search got built in order to index the web and then that's how we navigate the web, but the fact that search existed further, you know, it's like a, a virtuous cycle. It made it more likely that you needed a website and so then we have SEO and all these other things, right? But now that you have AI and you have an AI interface, the importance of the website is actually very, very low. Because if you actually are interacting with an AI agent, you're never, pot potentially you're never actually navigating to a website in order to make a purchase decision. And so you need to start thinking modularly anyway. So like, forget all the tracking stuff. Between the changes in tracking and the changes in AI, the likelihood that you will be able to say, hey, I'm going to serve an ad and then move the person to a website and that's how like yeah, the that linear thinking is just being deprecated. The likely exactly the likelihood that that's our future is just like so, it's like so small. Let's let's play that out though. Okay, so generative AI tools are just becoming a more normal part of the way that like we query and discover things. How does that change the the buying experience like from a brand perspective? Like how should you be preparing for that? So, I'll give you like the simplest example. So, Let's just say right now I'm going to try to buy a mic, right, for, for a podcast. What's going to end up happening is I'm just going to enter into some sort of agent interface like, hey, here's roughly what I am trying to accomplish. I just want to buy a mic that'll make sure that... Yeah, like get me a good mic. Yeah, exactly. Get me a good mic. Here are my constraints. And it'll say like, hey, here are three options. And then I'll be like, okay... Like, here's how I make my buying decisions, or it will have already learned how I may make my buying decisions and serve me all of the relevant information. And so that's like search-based buying, right? So that's like sort of what the future version of Amazon will look like, utility-based buying, search-based buying. The second category is more like discovery-based, right? So that's like what Facebook is, that's what a lot of DTC brands are, which is like, hey, you want to like create intent. Yeah, you're and generating demand. Generating demand, exactly. Or, or like you know, what sometimes people will call like inspiration-based purchases as opposed to utility-based purchases. Uh, that I think is all going to be in the context of media. But I think that whatever is the format within which you're like interacting with media, you're going to expect that you can be, you can ask questions and be served the relevant components from that brand's backend. So for example, within like the Facebook UI, you're going to be expecting that like, hey, what is that shirt that that woman is wearing? And it will serve back to you an answer based on an integration that the brand has done with Facebook and other tools, right, that allow you to actually understand what is going on and then allow you to actually make a purchase should you choose to. You, you'll probably even be able to ask questions like, what are my alternatives, right? Or, hey, I actually want to see what are the other types of shirts that this brand makes. And it'll serve all of those things to you in components, either owned by the platform on which the media is being served or owned by a platform that the brand actually manages. But it is not necessarily a website. And that's like the thing that I think people, I think like right now it's hard for probably most people to imagine like what that kind of interface looks like. But this, the, the, the simplest way of thinking about it is like, hey, it's, not, it's no longer hard for us to imagine how the search interface changes because we all have interacted with like the chat GPT interface. And it's like a similar shift is going to happen to, to your website. And so like your website anyways is highly likely to... It's going to become less, less of a part of the conversation. Exactly, exactly. It's super interesting. I think the next decade, there's going to be a tremendous amount of shifts. These, these things are happening so quickly too. You know, it took, what, two years for us to go from GPT-3, which was like, okay, right, to, to GPT-4, which no. is mind-boggling. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. insane. And then I think just the ch ch changing interfaces are, are, are going to be re uh, really interesting.